G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Shaboodle, and welcome back to 7 Days, welcome back to the Stun Button Challenge, where I'm not happy, it's not been a great 2 weeks, I've got the tier 6 Stun Button, the best of its kind, I should be absolutely romper stopping at the moment, but... Last night's horde was about as close to a disaster as you can get without your horde base crumbling around you. I got damaged a lot, the base got damaged a lot, it took so long to do anything. The stun button is starting to struggle, but I have to keep on using it. That's why it's called the stun button challenge, not the stun button cakewalk. Today though, I'm hoping for a better result. Oh, you guys aren't grown yet. You're not growing yet, I'll give you as long as possible to try and get your leaves in order because today is the day I'm going to leave this base behind and leave this biome behind. The pine forest is great for a little bit of time, but it's... I mean, the loot's not great here. I'm really starting to struggle with a lot of the other aspects of the game without that extra loot bonus. So today, I'm going to get my brand new motorcycle, jump on the back of it, Oh, it's a zombie bear up there. No, Josh, absolutely not. Um, <laughs> jump on the motorcycle and ride down to the desert and make a life for myself down here somewhere. <laughs> I struggle with a regular Blood Moon Horde and I want to go fight a bear. He's made of delicious rotten meat, but I wouldn't come home from that. Not a chance. No chance I can take on a bear with this thing. There she is, the motorcycle. I'll grab you. I think I'm actually pretty shy. Oh, I've got a little bit. That might actually be enough for me to get all the way down... Uh, I'm gonna ride through the restaurant, but all the way down to the to the desert where I want to go. I'm gonna put you in like that. Give you some extra fuel. That was all of it. That was a quarter of a tank. It's a petrol station across the road. I've already raided that. Um. Oh, you know what I didn't do? You know what I didn't do yet? I didn't make myself the ratchet. I unlocked the tier one ratchet. The upgrade on the wrench. I'll get you cooking along. That's a wrench, Josh. Need the ratchet. There you go. Tier one ratchet. He's going to use my steel tool parts. I'm still so far away from making uh, like a steel axe or whatever. That's the first time I can actually use it. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Ratchet. Ratchet. You? Ratchet? Mate. <laughs> I can't even time. That's how bad things are going. I've got my fuel server mod and my supercharger. That looks good. Plus you dyed purple because you just look so much better with the purple dye on you. Look. It matches. Every, everything has to match. It's all going to look nice and lovely. Uh, I'm missing the wrench. I've taken that out. Got the ratchet on the craft. So I'll get some petrol. Get the most valuable and most important stuff, like the work wrenches and things. I do have a land claim block here so I can pick everything up again and take everything with me. No idea where I'm going to live. When, when the sun sets tonight, I have no idea where I'm going to be. Hopefully, hopefully somewhere decent. But that's up to the gods now. Oh, I heard. I heard. Yeah, I definitely hurt. Oh, and I put you in the bloody wall. Where's your friend? You usually come in twos. Where's your twin? Where's your twin? I'm not letting my guard down. I'm like, the, the, yesterday went so bloody badly. That horde that went so bloody badly. Uh, basically, in part, because of that screamer horde that showed up with a couple of hours to spare before the horde. I thought it was going to be fine. I thought everything was good. They exposed my base for having a lot of flaws that I wasn't really ready to admit. I'll take your nerd taps. I do have the money to do that. Thank you. I don't have any salvage candy, but... Oh, I've left my, I can't have my ratchet on me either, so I'm just kind of breaking some stuff down. But yeah, that um, that screamer horde right before the proper horde, that was a problem. That that caused me a lot of problems. There's not a way to siphon the fuel out of the mini bike that I've already put in there. I'm already wearing my scavenger glove. I have some better harvest. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna use the rest of the fuel remaining in you to ride around, harvest a bunch of cars, give myself some extra petrol, and start my grand adventure. What am I gonna do? What are we going to do about a horde base to deal with that kind of horde with this kind of weapon? I think elevation is going to be key because like as I was talking about during the horde, the big issue is that when I punch the zombies off the side with the sun repulsor mod, they get pissed off. They go into destroy everything mode and they start breaking stuff. So that's actually causing me a real big problem. If I could avoid that somehow, I'd be in much, much better stead. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure I've been through here, but I left the pallets of cement behind. So, I guess just elevation, throwing them off a tall building seems like a pretty good idea. There was a dish on tower in that desert city, but I don't know what else there might be. I guess I get there and figure it out there. Uh-oh. Oh, where did you come from? And where did you go, Doggy Eye Joe? Come back here. You made it delicious, mate. I need you. I need you for sham chowders and uh, hobo stews and all sorts of stuff. Wait, 
No, it's not sham chowder. It's just hobo shoe you use. Little container lock with... You weren't there the whole time, were you? Surely just, like, spawned in as I walked over the threshold. There's no way. There's no way you were there that whole time. I was so ramped up at the start of the episode talking about everything that happened last night. I forgot to mention that because this is the start of the next fortnight, we've, just, we've survived 14 days, uh, I have turned things up a little bit. As always, every two weeks, things get harder. So we're already on Warrior difficulty. So now I've just made the zombies faster than they were before. Less time to think, less time to figure shit out, less time to <laughs> sort out which way is up and which way is down. And with the stun button... That's going to be a real big problem before too long. So things are harder, things are faster, things are worse. Which, given I was already having some trouble, that's not, not good for me. Oh, speaking of things getting worse for me, there's a wandering horde coming in. I'm wearing the wrong gloves for this. I'll quickly change it over to my regular ones. G'day, everyone. Oh, some loot bags out of you immediately, though. Thank you. So they're no longer jogging. They're running during the day. That little bit of speed change does make things much more dicey. Um, I'll come back for you in a moment. Just leave you there. Punch. Charge up. And, oh, missed it. And charge again. Ah, uh, lovely. I love when their noggins come off. It's the best feeling in the world. Not quite that one. Though. Come back. Come back. I'll spank you till you die. You've been a naughty girl. I've got a little over a thousand fuel, so I think that's going to be enough for now. I don't want to leave this so late that I'm only getting to the new city right as night falls. I still need time to get there, suss it out, scope it out, and see what the best building is going to be for me. I don't want to commit to anything immediately. I'm terrified of commitment anyway, just as Trader Gen. But I don't want to commit to something right off the bat that may not be so good. I want to like, at least explore the city a little bit to make sure I'm making the right decision. Because I feel like with this, more than any other series... The base that I live in, the horde base I have, and how I convert that into a horde base is going to be more important than anything else. So there's all of the petrol that I just had. You've got 70%. All of that only gave me 70% of a tank. That's it. That's all I got. I suppose to save on postage, like I'm Yzma sending Cusco around as a flea, uh, I'm going to sell all of this immediately. I'm, I mean, I may as well. I'm going to sell it all anyway. You can all come with me. It's going to take up space that I do not have at the moment. So I'm going to have to start going through all of this and figuring out exactly what I do want to take, what I don't want to take, and I don't want to take anything I don't absolutely need to. A couple of pumpkin cheesies out of you. Um, if I take a second, if I don't make the pumpkin cheesies, I can make more food, tuna fish toast? Tuna fish toast, I can make more of that. But no, I think, I, I think the pumpkin cheese is the best one. I can stack those as well. They'll come in handy later. Um, that's thinking ahead. Good. Oh, look how speedy it is too. Like, yeah, I'm rolling with the supercharger. And it's a big old bloody hog. Looking bloody, bloody majestic in purple. Look at the pace. Look at the pace. I'm already burning through petrol. I do not care. Can you open up, please, before I get them? Up, 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 up. Yep, no, totally deliberate. Totally threaded that needle perfectly and span around at the end. Might need to ease off the turbo when I'm fanging about on bloody residential streets. All right, you go in. Quickly check you. I'll take your nerd tats. I'll take your sugar butts. I'll take nothing else. Ooh. Nah, I'll take nothing else from me. G'day, mates. Great to see you. See you inventory. I'm going to sell my old nerdy outfit. All of my brass for a thousand bucks. Sell all of you. Not that one. Sell all of this one's too. Look at that. See, that was why I came here. So I could sell all this shit to you. And actually, with that, I've now got enough money. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do, do it right now. I've got enough money to buy myself that back. tier 2 steel Take axe. Look, it's a big jump from the iron the one. And should be I won't have to worry about that for a little while. Two and a half grand out of you. I've got a little bit left over. Is there anything else I can take from him for one last time and try to wreck? Like, I'm glad you're still alive after all of the horde night last night. But at the same time... I really wouldn't have missed you. Bought a couple of things, but nothing much. I think I'll save the rest of this for me for later. No books, no nothing, no mods. Just double check you don't have the intellect mod. No. All right. Now that we're done. Oh, actually, actually, again? do you have? What? You got a fucking crush on me or something? Oh, I would have. I would have had enough money for it, but it's going to buy that next time. Cheesecake from an issue. Sugar butts isn't an issue. Dirt. It's not like it's a one-time opportunity. I'm never going to get to do it again. That's fine. That's fine. All right. Let's go load up and get cracking. It's a long way to go. Oh, here we go then. It's half past one. I'm well, almost about to be. It's time to start breaking down all the most valuable parts of my base. So you can go with me. Oh, I suppose if I'm holding it to you already, may as well just turn that into another, another little bit worth of concrete. Start taking down the workbench. 
And then I'm gonna start picking. Picking and choose what the most valuable stuff is. So basically just like, I guess, health supplies, some repair kits, and most of my most valuable materials. Because there's no ammo I need, there's no weapons that I need. So that's gonna make that part of it easier. Oh, I'm gonna miss this place though. I'm gonna miss this place though, I really liked it. That bigger storage is gonna come in so handy as well. You can all go into there. I'd rather, oh. I mean, I'm trying not to scrap this. Ah, sod it. I'm going to scrap the short iron parts because, let's be real, uh, that's less of a priority. I need to stack all that iron away. Uh, I'm just going to eat you straight off, actually. You look bloody delicious. Look at that into your face holes. That can go into them. Oh, actually, that's 28 fuel. 28 fuel can get stacked into you as well. Beautiful. I'm still scrapping some things and crafting some things. I'm trying to make this as efficient as possible. And while I'm doing all that, I'm still letting my crops up here grow. This will be the last thing I do. As soon as I'm leaving, I'll harvest that if I have to, but maybe a couple of pumpkins will grow along the journey. I'll take all the seeds and stuff with me, mushies, hops. I don't need... I'm going to bring in the desert, actually, so you can stay behind. I'll take you. I'll take you. Those ones can stay. I'll take that one. All right. And now the tools. Oh, <laughs> There's so many things I need to bring. As much as I do want to bring absolutely everything with me that might come in handy, I... Need to prioritize a little bit. Coffee, corn, potatoes, and mushies. They could all come. That's all fine. Uh, I probably don't need to bring like two stun buttons. You can stay there. I've already got my main T6 one, but just in case I do cark it, I need to have a spare because I'm going to lose everything my hopper if I, or rather when I die. So that's my spare stunny. That's all fine. I can make a better hammer now, can't I, actually? Is there any point in me bringing, in my, in me bringing you? I break a T6. How far away from, my nail, from a nail gun? I can make a nail gun. You're gonna get scrapped then, just for the just for the iron. That's all fine. Uh, the rest of you guys can all come along for the ride. What don't I need to bring? Like, what's the least critical thing that I'm trying to bring along with me? That can get stacked up, actually. I didn't leave anything good in you. Oh, I gotta go. I gotta go. It's half past three already. At some point, I guess I'm just gonna have to make a journey back up here to get what I've left behind. I've got food. I've got meds. I've got all my tools. I've got my spare bicycle case. Or rather, when I run out of fuel. And that will just about do us, I think. I think that's all I can do. That's all I can bloody do. All right, pumpkins. It's time. I'm sorry. If I, I'm not gonna bother harvesting it up. I'm just gonna take the farm plot out from underneath you. It's very wasteful. That's very wasteful. Take the far take the, the bloody seeds too. Come on. All right. I think we're good to go. We're not good to go. I'm definitely gonna have to come back here at some point, but goodbye, base. <laughs> I very much enjoyed living in your air vents. I'm sorry to see you go. I'm very my, my time at Dick's Diner. There was some bad times. There was some bad times in the world, but on the whole, it was a nice experience. We're heading down to there. We're heading south. We're flying south, well, for the winter, but to the summer. Oh, man. Don't forget about me. That was a really cool starting base. There were some issues there, but I really liked it. That was a good little starting point. Look at it out there. You can see Dishong Tower all the way on the horizon, beckoning, calling, luring me towards it. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Please have a good building somewhere for me to live. This city is completely unexplored and unexperienced. Oh, I hope I have something good. I hope I have something good to live. Pretty please. Yeah, pushing for the motorcycle was definitely the right call. Not only for the extra storage, I was already struggling to fit. I didn't even bring everything that I need, but I was already struggling to choose what I was leaving behind already. Uh, but the extra pace as well. I got down here in a lick of a split. Where are we going to go? Where are we going to go? I've got a couple, a, a couple of hours even. Not really much time, but some time to try and pick somewhere. I guess I just, like, try and find some sort of base to live in for tonight and then pick it up tomorrow and find somewhere better. Because at the moment, nothing's jumping out at me. Nothing at all. I'm not seeing, ooh, a whole lot of anything. Oh, it, it just wasn't quite clipped in. Oh, I've driven into a POI. It's a parking lot. It's an empty one. I'm going to... Yeah, nah, parking's too expensive here. Never bloody mind then. <laughs> Completely accident. I thought that was a bloody road. I saw this yellow building... And I was like, oh, that looks kind of interesting. But then, like, the rest of the building popped in. And it turns out it was just, just a regular one. The deli. Ooh. What are, what are you? What are you, though? The Trilogy Suites. It's still, like, the main bit of town. And it's not really that tall. I'm looking for something taller. Oh, the Fit Box. I did say... I did say in Shabuddle's Coffee Series that... 
Uh, that wouldn't be a bad place. A bad place to set up shop. It's got, like, the nice, like, balcony up there as well already. That could be tempting. I'm not seeing much, though. I'm not seeing much of anything. Maybe that one. Maybe that one. I've just kind of gone in the big circle. I didn't mean to come back here. I was just going around where I thought I saw tall buildings. Dishong's over there. Clock tower. And you're just at the end of the cul de sac This is the end of the court. You could, you could maybe be decent. I, I think it's my best shot. I think it's my best shot. Do I have any wood on me? I do not. I'm going to quickly change it over. Grab some wood just so I can build myself a couple of storage boxes to lighten the load a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to just throw it on the ground. I'm so stacked up. I'm so stacked up with so much shit. Give me that back again and put everything away into you. Clear out the bike as well. So I'm all ready to rock and roll. All right. I guess, I guess this is where I'm going to bunker down for the night. It may not be much. Please don't be much. Just the downtown hotel. All right. Uh, there's no bell. Bing. I'd like to check in, please. Oh, someone's knocking on the door. Fortunately, because it is a remnant. Catch it later. All of, oh, all of the doors should be unlocked. That was a feral. Thank goodness I was charged up. I'm charged up again. So all the doors are unlocked, which means there won't be like a path for me to follow. So I might actually... Oh, Stripper Titties is trying to catch a bus out of town. Back in your bloody go there, love. Uh, so I might miss some zombies on the way through. I'm going to try and clear it out as best I can. But it's just going to be a bit of a shit show. Just a little bit of a shit show. So definitely my kind of speed. It's a real nice ornate looking place too. I'm going to close that door behind me. Do it a little in the draft. Uh, that's the way. That's the way up. The stairwell still intact. If I start carving out some of these stairs, maybe I can isolate myself at the top and I don't have to worry about zombies finding me in the middle of the night. Because that's the biggest problem. Nighttime's not far away, and the nighttime spawns in a harder biome are going to be a bit of a problem. I heard someone gurgle, I thought. He's going to quickly close the door for a bit of private reading time. Shop and trolley's on. Robotics crafting, 69. Nice. We're getting, we're getting closer. We're getting closer to getting... Getting ourselves a DD. She's going to be here before long. Only five more... Wait, five? No, seven. That's how numbers work. Seven more books and we get a deeds. Ooh, this might not be a waste of time after all. I was looking around for where the next place I was supposed to go was, forgetting that it's it's not a big POI. It's always going to be the stairwell. The stairs are fine pretty much all the way to the tippy top. I've already gone through all out there, though. All right, up to the next level. There's rubble. Oh, jeez. There's rubble bloody... Everywhere. Can I yep, screw it along the side like that? Nothing hiding out in the bathroom. No toilet either. Just. Is that supposed to be a bidet? Looks like a rather painful one to use, but okay. Quickly break down your cheeky ooh, cheeky bag out on the huh, out on the air vents. I'm getting real reckless with my legs, but I've got the ability to instantly heal my thigh bones, so may as well. <laughs> may as well use the skill I've invested in. Can I? I've already, I've already gone through the, the elevator car, so that's all fine. That takes me up to the next level. Just go floor by floor. Floor by bloody floor. There's some lights up here, which is good. I didn't bring any of the torches with me. Even though torches uh, call in screamers, I still need to be able to see sometimes. Nothing up here. There's no, like, broken any, like, window sills or anything to walk through. So, up uh, back over we go. That definitely feels like... I'm just going to go for it. Huh? Look at the way that it wants me to go. That goes through there, so back over to this side. Open the door. Which was the way I was supposed to go? If there even was a way I was supposed to go, I'm not sure. It's all... It's a here good to mess. How am I supposed to figure this shit out? So this is the top level up here. Is this high enough to be... Mm, is this high enough to be safe from the ground? I don't... I don't think it is. I think on the, like, the roof I would be... Ooh. Nah, that's a nut... That's another mama's pizza. I just lived there. I just left that place. I can't live there again. It'd be perfect. Like, it's on this level. It's the kind of level that I want to be on, but I... Ooh, maybe down there. Maybe, like, the factory. Gonna have to scope us out. Gonna have to scope us out and find a better place to live. But I think for now, this one... Oh, good bud. This one will get... <laughs> get me through the night, at the very least. That goes down there. That's the way I just came over. I clambered over the walls. Okay. I... Th oh. Yep, mind, mind your legs. I think this might be the place for me for tonight. It's not much, but it's mine. I've got a charge button. There's a pigeon trying to get up and about me. Ah, oh, see you later. 
Look at the distance on the magazine section. It it landed on the zebra crossing all the way up there. That is some decent distance out of that. That's what I mean. That's how far all zombies should fly. That's almost literally a city block. That's the dream. That's the hope. That's what it always should be. Bow parts, I can sell you. Uh, was I supposed to go around this way? No, I think I did it right by clambering through the wall. Okay. Well, I, I was going to say home sweet home. It's not quite. I guess just, I don't know, camp sweet camp? Some Somewhere to be while the sun sets? Because there's not much else going on here. I don't think they can get to me if I break down at least just these planks. I can break down the stairs, but they've obviously got to be stronger than the wooden planks are. If I break down these, if a zombie does discover them upstairs, they can't get to me anyway. We go all the way across, so they can't make that jump. And I will also break down this one. Yeah, no, good. And just like a ladder on the other side to jump to. Doesn't need to be much. Just needs to be safe. There's no shelter up here either. Oh, maybe, I just, maybe I just need to leave in one of these rooms then. I did just break down the stair, uh, well, the ramps on the stairs to get to here. Someone's gurgling down below. I, I, need, I need a room. I need a room. I need somewhere to live in. I guess this one? There's no roof in the U. There's no roof in you. This is the worst hotel ever. Uh, just because the hotel couldn't provide me a room doesn't mean I can't build my own. Just going to put in a roof up on the top. I need to get rid of some of the rubble up there. Just somewhere to keep, hopefully, some of the waters out. I can go like that. Uh, to get rid of you. I've already fixed up the floor. I just need to do the other side as well. But this will um, this will do, I think. I mean, I've got a nice view at the very least. They better not charge me extra for that. I'm not high up at all. I'm not high up at all. This isn't going to work. This will barely get me through the night. Just because I'm not staying long doesn't mean I have to live in squalor. I'm just going to clear up some of the rubble out of you so I can replace you with some better blocks. That one too. And that one at the tippy top. Uh, and you too. What? Oh, no, you're a little bit stronger. Never mind then. Uh, for you then. Nope, that's the wrong thing. I'm going to go favorites. And just go across and rebuild this wall. My bathroom's still a bit drafty, but that's okay. And then... We'll go like you, so you can match up on that side. And actually, can I go like this? Copy shape and rotation. Kind of. I mean, you're pretty busted up. You're pretty busted up. I'll put in my own windows then. We'll go you. The centers. Just like that. No, I hate that. Never mind. I'll put it in a different one. There we go. It isn't much, but at least it's mine. And at least it will keep me safe for the night tonight. I'll have to go downstairs, grab all the stuff out of those boxes, and just move them up to here for now and then tomorrow scope out what this town has to offer there's got to be something out there for me that's better than this shit hole i gotta go and find something out there to both live in well but live in my living base I don't know why I said this really. So both live in and also fight in. I need a, a, a base for all of my shit and a base to fight in and fend off the screamers. Elevation's going to be key for the stun button, but also just everything in general. So I've got to find something tall. I just don't know what that's going to be yet. And if I end up living in Dishong Tower, I'm not going to be happy. I don't like living in Dishong. I'm going to avoid that if I can. Plus, it's too, like, such an easy choice. It's the biggest and strongest building in the world. Nah, we're going to find something different. Find something more unique. Find something a bit more, a bit more special with a sprinkle to make it a bit more fun. But I'll have to come back and try and find that place to live in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.